welcome back to another um, a long-awaited episode of uh, Big Guy Camping. Um, I'm Jared, just for those of you who don't know, and um, I'm doing a little project at the moment, so I thought I'd just quickly film a little bit about what I'm doing um, in the back of the back of the Pajero. Um, I've decided to buy some um, some drawers um, here, and I'm just mounting them into the car. So I've had to be a bit creative with it when it comes to mounting. So I'll just um, quickly show you, just in case anyone's got a, um, a Pajero and they buy some um, drawers, uh, how I've gone about mounting them. So these are from Kings. They're the Titan 900 um, millimeter drawers. They're the ones that pretty much any ones that will fit into a Pajero if you want to keep your uh, seats down, which is what I want to do. Um, so I've uh, I've come to the decision. So that a lot of people are they don't know what to do when it comes to the storage. So we have storage underneath the um, the floor where the third row seats normally sit, and obviously I've removed the third row seats and I've used it for storage. What I found was when we've been camping or up the beach or anything like that, I've got so much stuff in the back here, the the, the storage of the floor is useless because you can't get to it because I've got all this stuff in the back. You have to take everything out, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get some um, some drawers and uh, they'll be handy. Of course, I lose a little bit of space, but also gain a heap of space too because I've got these extra drawers and, and I've got this up here. And if you notice up here, I've actually got one of the, um, the, the K-On shelves, which is fantastic. I love it. I've got my recovery gear up here, easy to access if I need to. And I've put in some lights as well. Um, they're just hooked into uh, my little <laughs> wiring set up here. And there is a actual, I've got a uh, 140 air power battery in that compartment there as well. So while I don't need access to this all the time, it would be nice to be able to get access to it if I need to. Some people have been very creative with this. They've put in hinges, so like gas struts and hinges on, on the um, on the drawers, so the drawers open up at the front there. I'm not gonna worry about that. You need to have your seats forward for it to open, uh, just the way how physics work, I guess. Um, and I, so I haven't bothered with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna leave the floor open like this. Um, and I'm going to bolt it down. So you, yes, you do have to take the drawers out to get to underneath. But what I'm going to put in underneath is stuff that I'm not going to need to access very often. Um, it's mainly the battery cavity, and I might put stuff in there like my um, my uh, dual thumper compressor. Um, so I can. It, it's not something I will need to access in an emergency. Um, I can pull the drawer out if I need to get access to that. So that's the plan there. So what I'm doing here is I've actually bought been to Bunnings, bought some wood here. Um, I saw another guy do this only because there's a slight gap here at the front, which is not not very pretty. So I'm actually going to um, cut this to fit, and just it's only going to be very 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 shallow, but it'll sit under here, and I have some carpet. I'm going to put some carpet on it, glue some carpet on there. I'm going to cut it there, and I'm just going to sit that under there, and then this is going to bolt down there. So how do I bolt this down? We've got a couple ways. You've got many ways you can do it. You can obviously go through the floor if you want to, but what I've done is um, there is a bolt here. I haven't put it back in properly for this little anchor point there. It's perfectly. It sits perfectly. So I've had to move this bar forward a little bit because it came it was right at the back, and um, the bolt was just long enough. Um, it probably would have been better to have a little bit longer, but it actually tightened quite a few turns. So all good. So there on both sides, like that. At the front, I obviously don't have anywhere to bolt it to. This cross bar here was further at the front. I've moved it to the back just to. Um, let it have a little bit more support in the middle there. Um, and what I'm going to add in are these guys. So I've seen a couple of people do this and I'll, I'll film it at the end. This is going to go down the side here and I'm going to attach it. Just got a couple of things here. Out of the way. Um, 
is this point here, which is also an anchor point. Um, it's a plastic anchor point. I don't want to do it into the plastic, but I've bought some um, some eye bolts here, and they should go into this 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 mounting this mounting point right here, and down there. Hopefully, you can see that. And um, and then I'll attach. These come with these little. What do you call them? Saddles, maybe? No. Copper hand swags. I'll drill them and screw them into the side of the, uh, to the drawers here. And then that will, this thing will attach down to, to that. So that's the plan. Hopefully it all works. Um, I'll post another video once it's um, done. And you can see. All right, this is part two. I'm in. I've done it all. I've uh, put it in. So, uh, like I showed you before, at the back, there was bolts there already. So if we look down here, we've got um, these. Um, I can't remember what they're called. But basically attached by some a thing there and then into the floor so um they are m6 bolts that go in there so i just removed the little plastic normal thing that's on there and they just screw straight in so it's it's secure on both sides you can see it there and i took a bit of uh a little bit of plywood and um some carpet there's some marine carpet and I glued the carpet to the wood, cut out the, uh, the wood with a jigsaw using the existing old cover as a template, glued it down. And actually it's not secured down, doesn't need to be because this is pushing down to it, onto it. And because it's secured to the floor, it's gonna stay there. But it just makes it a little neater at the front here, see? Just looks looks great. I mean, I'm not the best carpenter in the world, but look up there. But you know, that's the first time I've ever done it. Pretty happy. So this is it. I've got access to my the underneath my um, drawers if I need to. I do need to pull the drawers out. Not a big issue. Again, a lot of the stuff that's going to be in there don't need very access very often. So very 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 satisfied with all this. She's in there. She ain't there even anywhere. So. So there's just some ideas for you if you're trying to put some drawers into your Pajero Gen 4. This is a Gen 4 Pajero. Have a good one.